My killer rig for redfish is a modified Santee rig, and I've got to test it to make sure I'm using the right size float. Let me show you how I'm going to do that. Stay tuned. I've adapted the traditional Santee rig for red fishing here in the marsh near Wilmington, North Carolina. Now the traditional Santee rig is basically a Carolina rig with a float over near the hook. Well, that's kind of reversed from the way it works best where I fish and anyway for the fish that like to let me catch them. What I want is I want the weight on the bottom, the bait suspended in the water column, and then the float above that keeping everything oriented. And the key issue is what size float should you use to keep the weight from floating around in the current, but heavy enough, floatant enough to keep the bait suspended in the column. So what I'm gonna do is test that today in the pool and I've got my typical three quarter ounce egg sinker here at the bottom. I've got a half ounce egg sister sinker here in the middle to simulate a fat mullet from the middle of the summer. And I'm gonna try the typical float I've been using to see if I've actually been doing this right over the last couple seasons. I'm gonna rig this up, we're gonna throw it in the pool, and we're gonna see where all this ends up. Hopefully, the sinker is on the bottom, the bait's in the middle, and the float is actually underneath the surface of the water, keeping all this stuff suspended. Let's rig it up, go out to the pool, and see what the deal is. Here we go, all set up, got everything rigged up. Uh, typically, I fish in shallow water, so I don't think I need the float to be any higher in this. I think one thing I am going to do this year is I'm going to paint all these floats black. I mean, I don't need to see them. They're not going to float on top of the water. So let's drop this in the pool and see where the float ends up. This is a surprising result. The bait is on the bottom. I need to use a bigger float. Let me stuff this underneath the water and you'll be able to see. I've got the next size up. Let's try it. This is interesting. Got it on. Let's pop it in and see what happens. Looks like that's a ticket. Let me show you. Well, that was a valuable lesson. Boy, I'm glad I did this test because why bother to put this thing on if it's not going to behave in the way you want? So I know that for a half ounce mullet, I'm going to need at least this size. Now, earlier in the season, when the mullet are only about this big, I could probably use the smaller one. And like I said, I think I'll paint this black, even though a redfish isn't going to know what this is. May as well have it blend in just a little bit. What do you guys think? Think there's a better way to keep the bait suspended in the water column? If so, throw it down below. I need to know.